Good morning, good afternoon, and greetings to viewers from around the globe. Welcome to our second episode of the Solar PV Technology Series. Today's topic is progress and new heights on perovskite solar cells. I'd like to welcome Professor Hou Yi. Yeah, thank you very much for the kind of invitation. Yeah, yeah. Today I'm gonna talk about this uh, emerging uh, perovskite-based uh, solar cells. Welcome. Uh, Professor Mai from Jinan University. Well, I would like to thank for the in uh, invitation and introduction from the uh, from uh, from the organizer. Uh, today, I would like to share our recent results in highly efficiency perovskite solar cell and modules, uh, which was mainly made in Jinan University, together with the two D two D capping layer on the upper surface formed by the PL iodine. We achieved. 21.9% efficiency for a small, for a small size solar cells. Um, we have collected several questions. So, are there any new research findings to improve uh, the cell's performance in these two aspects? Yeah. Okay. okay thank help. you. <laughs> I mean, we can start first. So, I, I think yeah, it's quite quite nice questions, and also the big questions. And uh, so, I think probably we can think about this from two aspects. I think the first one is. Uh, the bulk property of the perovskite itself, yeah. And the second aspect probably is uh, interfaces. Um, what do you think are the difficulties and obstacles perovskite solar cell need to overcome towards uh, mass production? Uh, in theory, in the mass production, we use slow dye uh, and evaporation. But especially for the division uh, with slow dye, it's quite difficult to obtain homogeneous division and pinhole free division. How much time? And do you think we need to achieve that or bring the efficiency to 30 percent? Uh, I think for 30 percent, we're almost there. Yeah? <laughs> if I read that's already 29.8. I mean, but the whole community are, are, are still looking at who's going who gonna to be the one yeah, to, go, uh, to go to this, uh, go beyond this milestone, yeah? 30 yeah. percent encapsulation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, we, for the Periska, we need a very good encapsulation. Well, thank you, Professor Ho and Professor Mai again for joining us today and thank you for your excellent presentation. Bye-bye. Okay,